I'm going to walk you through making a punch from a micron pen. I have the 08 here, which is a 0.5 millimeter pen, and the uh, 005, which is a 0.2 millimeter pen. I'm going to start with this one because it's the bigger one, it might be easier to see. So you've got this metal, metal nib here with the collar. It's all one piece. That's what you need when you're looking to make a punch out of anything. It needs to have a one piece collar and nib. Otherwise, it's just going to suck back up whenever you do it, whenever you punch. There's a little tiny uh, dip in there. You just kind of got to get your sharp object in and start wiggling it up. Oh, it just shot out. So now you have the ink and the nib. And I grab pliers or whatever and just start pulling, whichever way seems easiest. That was a good start. And I've got it all the way through. This can just be discarded and then you have your hole. Pop the cap back on, like that. It's all nice and flush. Um, and now you have an empty thing that you can use to punch. When you punch, you will want to have something soft but firm under it, like this piece of chipboard. Place your punch. I put pressure like this and push down while I twist. I have never had an issue with um, the straps twisting or getting um, or getting warped from this. But you can see that it's not, like it's making a circle, but it's not really cutting yet, is it? So, needle file to the rescue. I angle it so that I am taking away things in a tapering sort of a way, not just straight around the, uh, the nib. That way it stays a little stronger, I think, because you don't want this to bend and cause problems down the road. Uh, do try to make it as even as possible all the way around so that it stays pretty strong. Just gonna file here for a second. A little bit more to do. All right. I'm gonna see if I can help you see, eh, kind of, you can kind of see how it tapers. My camera doesn't want to focus on this because it's so small, um, but it does, it does kind of taper. And I will now try to punch again, Let's see if it works better. things with the microns is that you do have to be kind of gentle with it. You can use a hammer if you want. Using a hammer is how I uh, broke mine early on and so I don't need to do that anymore. Um, some people do it successfully and that's great. So I've punched through finally. Um, there's a little bit of a, a hanging chad here. Um, there isn't usually. I just wasn't patient and didn't go all the way through. There we go. Now I got it. See a hole all the way through. The leather is left in the pin. I don't worry about that. The next time I use this to punch, it'll just get pushed further in. Um, the body of the pin is hollow. There is, when you think about how thin the leather is and how small the um, removed pieces, it's pretty much an infinite amount of space. I don't think I've ever gone in and cleaned out one of my pens, nor have I had an issue. I haven't done other pens so that I have other sizes. Um, this is my little 25 millimeter pen. It works really well, in my opinion. Um, it's nice and sharp. It just went right through there. Um, through the chipboard, too. And there's another little tiny hole. 
holes are better than pinpricks because a pinprick with a needle will eventually close back up. Anytime you poke a hole with an awl or a needle, it's just not going to stick. Um, because all it does is push the fibers out of the way. And if you do even just a little bit with the strap, it just starts to close back up again. And it's really hard to find the hole from the back, which causes more stress on the leather as you try and stick a tongue through that. So that is how I make punches for micron pins. You can also do some fun stuff by using pliers to gently squeeze it maybe into an oval so that you have more of a slit instead of uh, just a round circle. I use these punches for all kinds of things. Uh, for a larger, like, and stable mate scale for girth buckles, big western ones, I will punch two holes and then connect them with my X-Acto knife to create a nice wide slit for a buckle tongue. This would be a good thing, to, a good way to do it um, in larger scales too, for just normal strap goods, especially if you use the tiniest micron. So yeah, hopefully you can see, and you can kind of see my slit. And the slits are better, like slits where the material is removed are better for buckle tongues than just a straight cut because it allows it to move more freely and there's less bulk. So hopefully that was helpful, the how to make a punch from a micron pin. Um, and have a happy International Model Tag Month, everyone.